Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is your DJ, DJ Jimmy. I'm so happy you're here with me. So what I have for you today is an unboxing of my brand new, while well, you guys already know. So let's get right into it. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, okay, so like I said, um, you guys already know what this is, or if you guys don't know, I'm about to show you guys. Um, I don't know too many details on this, honestly, guys. I just got it because it was recommended by a couple DJs that I follow. Um, DJ J Book is one of them, so if you guys don't follow him, go follow him. He has some awesome content and um, a lot of DJ-related videos. Um, so yeah, so anyways, um, I kind of already unboxed this a little bit. Uh, well, actually, just the outer box that it came in. Uh, but yeah, so let's get right into it. So, uh, as you guys can see, you know, but I should have all the paperwork in there. I haven't really unboxed it, unboxed it yet. So, from the Guitar Center, they always give me a good deal. This thing is normally about, I think it was about 650. Sometimes you can get it for 600. I was able to get this for 500 um, by calling the guys at the Guitar Center from their 1-800 number. I actually have a gear, uh, a gear advisor that takes care of me, and they do every time, man. So, anyway, so. That's where I got this at. <clears throat> and lo and behold, here it is, everybody, here it is. So this is the WMX1, also known as the Wolf Mix. Um, it is a DMX controller. Um, it is a standalone DMX controller. I don't, you don't need a tablet. You don't need to connect this to your computer. You can connect it to your computer if you want to for different types of uh, um, modes that you want to get into but that's not why I wanted it I wanted it to be its own thing I didn't want to have to use a tablet at any point um, so that's why I got this thing okay so bear with me again um, I don't know too many of the aspects of details I just really wanted to unbox this for you guys and show you guys what I got all right so let's get right into it so again this is a DMX controller okay um, so as you guys see comes with its own little um, activation how to get started so it shows you how to activate it so I will uh, need to connect this to the uh, computer to be able to activate it but after that it should work as a standalone um, DMX controller okay so so yeah so I have this and um, this is what this looks like <clears throat> so let's get this a beautiful thing out here so let's Take this, I'm gonna be very careful with this thing. This thing is uh, very, very nice. So, I'm gonna just tear this thing right off. That's how I am, I like to just tear things. Um, oh yeah, so it looks like it just rips in half. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, take this, um, take these. Here goes the here goes the cable. This is also your power cable right here. This can also connect um, to your computer or your laptop, uh, you know, for activation or if, like, again, you can also use it for other types of uh, things that you want to get into later on. Again, there's a lot of videos on this uh, WMX1, this Wolf Mix by ADJ. Um, but again, so I would advise you guys to go check those out, and it might be something that you guys might be uh, looking for, man. Um, so yeah, so. Again, this is just the power cable. Um, let me show you guys that. And this is the AC plug that that thing connects to to power this bad boy on. Um, so as you guys can see, it's a regular connector, power connector. Um, I think this is a sticker. It might be a sticker, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a sticker. That's a sticker. Why I would want that, I don't know. I mean, if I want to put it somewhere, I guess. Um, and then it has the, the reference manual, the quick start guide, which I am going to read, which is why I'm not going to be able to kind of turn this on and show you guys what it does. Um, because again, you know, I'm still new at this as well. I just seen enough videos to know that this is something that I have been looking for. Um, and I love it, man. I mean, you guys can't really see it. Hopefully you guys can. Um, the little touch pads. Uh, it, it's just beautiful, man. When you, once you guys see this thing work, man, it's just nice. It has everything. It has um, your color effects, your beam effects, you know, your color, your position, your gobos, 
Um, I have moving heads, which is why I wanted this. Um, and you know, also to be able to control. So I want to have this set up right next to my my DDJ 1000, and just be able to hit a pad when I want to uh, be able to control the lights. You know, when I'm doing bigger bigger events, which I am gonna start doing here um, soon. Um, and I want to be prepared. I want to know how to use this thing before I get um, started on these bigger events. And also for weddings, if I have a bigger setup for a wedding, I want to be able to create different light shows, you know. So, because I'm all about, you know, creating different uh, types of things for, for different clients. Sorry if I got a little bright. <laughs> I forgot to turn on this light over here, man. I'm just really excited. As always, I'm always excited about um, all my new things that I buy, man. You guys already know. If you guys, once you guys buy your new items, man, you guys are super excited. It's like a little kid. Um, buying his you know Nintendo 64 for the first time his Xbox one for the first time or whatever it is that that excites you guys and for me today um, It is everything DJ related man. Um, and so this is exciting for me. I'm so glad and, um, and grateful to be able to uh, be able to purchase this today um, or a couple days ago um, But yeah, like I said, there's really nothing much I can really go off of again. I'm, I'm still learning this I just know that These are your go-to's right here. Um, so real quick, I just kind of want to tell you guys why uh, why I purchased this thing. Um, so as of right now, I have the My DMX Go by ADJ. Um, that one does require for you to have a tablet. You can't control it via your computer. It just doesn't work like that. At least I haven't found uh, a way to do that. So with the My DMX Go, I purchased that about a year ago. I never really used it because um, I wasn't doing bigger events. But once I, just, once I decided that I did end up needing that thing, I had bought a tablet, um, got all the, you know, everything kind of working, got all my presets on that. So it's pretty much a DMX controller, um, you know, via your tablet. And a lot of the times when I would go, you know, be trying to DJ and I'll try to hit, you know, one of the functions, it wouldn't hit it. I would have to, you know, get right on it. You guys already know how some of the tablets are. They're very, they're not sensitive or they're overly sensitive. So I had to really touch it really hard and I didn't like that. Um, and a lot of times when I was creating my shows, because on my DMX Go, you create these light shows um, that you want, which is great. Um, and it was very easy to use. But when I would go back later on after I shut it off and powered it back on for another event, when I would go and try to use that same preset that I had set up, I had like maybe 20 presets for different um, parts of my events. Whether it was for first dance, I had, you know, for the first dance, I would have uh, a preset for the lights, my moving heads being right at the center of the dance floor with the uh, flowers kind of going around in circles or little stars. The, the next wedding I would have, I would go back to that same preset and um, the, the flowers were gone. It was just a straight beam on the dance floor. Um, or even during that same event, if I had one where I had, you know, colored lights going crazy, you know, going this way and that way, Later on, I go to a different preset and try to go back to that same one. It would reset and it would go just to white, a white beam, not doing anything. It would just sit there. And I'm like, what's going on? And later on, I, I had to, so what, what was happening was it was kind of malfunctioning a lot of the times. Um, and a lot of people that, because I thought it was maybe it was just my DMX Go that the thing was kind of messed up. But I reached out to a couple of the DJs and they let me know that that's just the way that thing is. It's kind of like you you get what you pay for, which I thought was kind of weird because I mean, I, I, I know it's not a lot of money, but I paid about $300 for my DMX Go. I think it was 250, maybe 300, but that's still a pretty good price considering it doesn't come with a tablet. It's just literally just a box um, that sends out the signal or has all that information and that controls your lights. But I don't know, I, I so that's pretty much why I decided to look into something else, something that was gonna be more long-term, something that was gonna be more quality. So I did give ADJ another chance um, and I watched a bunch of videos on this because I was going to go with uh, Show Express, you know, Chave Show Express or the ADJ, um, what is that, uh, the thing called, uh, DJ Bar uses it, um, I think it's called, uh, not Show Express, what's the other one, but anyways, it's ADJ's version of, uh, of uh, Chave Show Express. Um, so, you know, oh, the Airstream, I guess it's a ADJ uh, Airstream, DMX Airstream, right? Um, but I didn't want to have to use a tablet or use a computer or have to buy this separately, you know, to have a little touchpad. Um, and I ended up watching a video where they were showing this and uh, I saw my boy DJ uh, Jay Book actually buy one of these. He hasn't made a video on it yet, but he talks so highly of it. So I started watching all these videos on this exact controller right here. And um, 
fell in love with it, man. It seems so easy. It, it does say it takes a little bit of time to honestly get to know it, but at the end, they said it works flawlessly, and, and it says it's for literally for mobile DJs or for people who are working alone a lot of the times, or even if I want to have somebody else control it, all they got to do is touch whatever pad, and, it, and it's really self-explanatory, you know, after that. Um, so yeah, so anyways, um, again, can't really touch on what every single thing is yet. I hope to maybe later on make a video for you guys, show you guys what exactly this thing can do for your kind of your guys' events. Um, but yeah, so that's really all I wanted to touch on for this. I'm gonna go try this out myself. I got my moving head downstairs and ready to go. Um, so that's all I really have, guys. I mean, again, I don't wanna talk about something that I don't really know too much on. Uh, I don't wanna give misinformation out there. Um, so yeah, so this is it right here. Well. It's the Wolf Mix by ADJ. I'm so glad again that you guys were uh, able to be a part of this. Again, this is for me, all new, my new beginnings, uh, my new adventures. And so far, things have been going fantastic, man. It, I've been blessed. I've been blessed by a lot of you guys too with all the great comments, man, giving me pointers. Um, tell me that you guys have been there once where I have started out. Um, and for you new DJs who are just starting out, man, Watch a lot of YouTube videos, that's how I started. I follow a lot of DJs, man, and, I, and I'm able to take a lot of criticism. I'm able to take a lot of people who are telling me that maybe I shouldn't put my speakers so low, I should put them high, you know, because you know, that's the way we're gonna learn, you know. If, if we're not willing to, 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 uh, to take um, some of the bad, you know, with some of the good, we're, I, I believe we're never gonna be able to grow. But anyways, like always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and like always, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And um, with that, that's all I really have. Until the next one, peace.